five movie and web series recommendations to tell you more about journalism, media industry, media and entertainment, and all things related. Hi, I'm Pallavi, and I thought that since I'm using this platform to create more informative content, I should create one related to the field that I am pursuing, which is journalism. First, I would recommend that everyone who has an interest in journalism should watch a web series called The Newsroom. It is currently available on Disney Hotstar. I'm not sure whether it is going away with all the HBO shows or not, but it was there when I last watched it and rewatched it. The Newsroom is a show about a TV anchor who suddenly starts talking about facts, figures, and the truth. The entire show will tell you more about the functioning of newsrooms, how different national media organizations, especially broadcasting work. The Newsroom is an interesting web series, mainly because it is filled with such highs and lows. It is not all the good things about journalism, it is the reality of journalism that it tries to show you. But yeah, since it is a web series, there's a lot of drama as well. Number two is The Post. The Post is a movie which is about Washington Post. And I think it is available on Sony Live right now. The Post is a movie which talks about the Washington Post's coverage of the Vietnam War and specifically the Pentagon Papers, which different journalists were trying to get published in the newspaper. But, you know, when there are sensitive matters and matters that concern national interests and matters that can shake the government, it is very important to do due diligence. And The Post is a kind of movie that will tell you all the ways that you know journalists try to make sure that even if they're publishing a piece which can have a lot of repercussions for the country for the government for the journalists themselves then how to try to do the due diligence make sure that everyone is protected the post is specifically about the fact that when different uh, people got their hands on documents that revealed that the war that americans were fighting in vietnam was a hopeless war then how do you make sure, how do you tell an entire nation full of people that the soldiers are being sent to die? So that is a kind of, you know, it's a very sensitive theme that the movie tries to deal with. And though the movie is more focused about the coverage of the events, you really understand the entire time period that the movie was set in while watching it. Third recommendation from, from my side would be it's a show called The Bold Type because we can't have all boring recommendations even though I'll tell you there was nothing boring about the newsroom, nothing boring about the post and I'll say that that's for someone who is interested in journalism, for someone who wants to pursue a career in the media industry, they won't find those things boring. But if you're a common person who just wants to watch something fun and still learn about media, then The Bold Type is the one for you. It's a hilarious web series. It's available on Netflix and it is about entertainment and fashion. So it's about a bunch of friends who are working with a magazine and it deals more with the lives of those characters than it does about the media industry. But it still gives you an insight into the world of writers and authors and journalists, even the ones who are working with these beats like fashion and entertainment. It also tells you a lot about publishing because, you know, it's a completely different segment altogether. Print journalism, broadcast, digital, full of fashion, entertainment, sensational journalism, or even some good, real, thought out fluff pieces, feature pieces, soft stories. So The Bold Type is a funny show which will keep you entertained and it's, it will still add a little bit value about your knowledge about journalism. The fourth recommendation. It's called Sharp Objects. It's also available on Disney Hot Stuff for now. I mean, it was when I watched it. And it's based on a book, but Sharp Objects is less about journalism. It's more about how a journalist manages to keep themselves detached from the subject of their reporting. Like you know that there are a lot of things that are happening across the world. There are rapes, murder, kidnapping, crime, violent crimes. And how do journalists make sure that while they're covering those events, they maintain a sense of neutrality, they look at things objectively, they are not swayed by their emotions and they do not let their emotions impact their storytelling or impact their news story. The Sharp Objects essentially kind of deals with 
support those things like it's a story about a journalist who go ba- goes back to her hometown which she left a while ago and she starts covering a crime but it's more about how such kinds of crimes also take a toll on the journalist herself or himself whoever is covering it so it deals with that emotional and that mental aspect of journalism which i think it was a really dark and emotional show and but it has huge like mystery elements and like the twists and turns it will keep you entertained finally last but not the least the most amazing wonderful entertaining engaging recommendation that i have is inventing anna it's available on netflix if you haven't seen it already you might have because it was really popular you should now and though people think it the entire series is all about anna the character the scamster who make it who made it look like she was a millionaire a billionaire a diva but the story for me like the perspective that i understood inventing anna from is the attempt of a journalist in trying to investigate into the life of anna like vivian tries her best to try try to like connect the dots and pick up the pieces of whatever anna reveals herself to be versus what she actually is and it just like it shows you the interesting portions of journalism like how investigative journalism works how much hard work goes into it how do you make sure you convince your editor that it is a story and finally how do you put out a piece in a way that does justice to journalism that you know covers the entirety the experience that a journalist has while covering a story like it takes a lot of effort and a lot of amount of hard work to cover a single investigative story but you cannot put all that out in a 1500 word article you have to condense it you have to decide what goes and what doesn't you talk to like hundreds of people but only you know there are only chances to include quotes of like five or six relevant people and even then you have to make sure that they have said something significant but the problem arises when a lot of people have said a lot of significant stuff and you have to decide who to quote and who not to and i mean inventing anna is a fun story in the sense that you know all these documentaries or docu dramas that are based on real life events like the tinder swindler they tell you like what kind of people exist in the world <laughs> but inventing anna is also a great piece if you want to understand investigative journalism or see how investigative journalism is to be done i mean no though people would argue that there are what things that were exploitative there were things that you know didn't make sense that shouldn't have been included or maybe the journalist herself had a bias or something but that's all different perspectives it doesn't make the show any less relevant for people who are interested in journalism and media industry so that's a wrap it's five recommendations for all the people who are interested in journalism media and all things related